And as long as these guys are attacking at the same time, you're able to attack and kill all of them just like this in the corner. It's all you gotta do. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Lesnar video. Today, we're going to be checking out and opening the best crate in Transport Hub and which one is worth, which one isn't worth. And we're going to be talking about all of that. So I prepared myself. We got some resources to do Transport Hub. This is the armor we're going to be using. Sawblade for crouch attacking, Glock for the boss, which is going to be probably Butcher. You don't really need this, but for Butcher, you definitely need one Glock at least into transport up the thing is with transport up though it's mixed on how you get these zombies spawning sometimes you can get fat zombies here as you can see this is just literally all small zombies in front of me right there so what i can do now is just swap to my saw blade and let's first start off with the left guy so let's just get to saw blading him now so obviously you're not gonna get spawns like this okay so since i aggroed all of them what i'm gonna do is actually hit them all once like this guy uh, let me try to... I cannot get him. Okay. Let's get hit by this guy like that. And I want to hit this guy. So I do one hit of a crowbar. And I could actually do this for every single zombie. Like this. Just get hit. Hit him once. All of them. Now this will tank a little bit of HP. And I'll just leave the area like this. And pay attention where I'm leaving the area. I'm leaving the area to the right side. So I'm just going to leave it this side the zombies were all facing right side now and now if you take a look since i left them facing to the right side they all face basically depending on where your character left the area from so if they were face so if you leave the area from let's say left side they will face the left side if you leave it to the top side they will face to the top so now using this trick we can basically use a saw blade now to crouch attack all of them and since we hit them once with the crowbar you can instantly kill all of them in one shot of a crouch attack However, this guy might not be able to uh, be crouchable. So let's start maybe with this guy. I'm pretty sure they will all aggro me. You can, by the way, repeat the step if you want to. This works with every single zombie. I did leave the area facing that way though. And there you have it, that guy is facing that way. So now I have to go through the right side. But yeah, there you go, crouch attack. Crouch stack you as well. And it's nice to do this trick. I'll be able to crouch stack this fat zombie here. So let's do that. And you can actually wall trick here. This is a good spot to wall trick. If you don't like the spot, then that's no problem. You can wall trick near the truck. Four corners near the truck is amazing for wall tricking these zombies. So this is literally the best option that you have. Anyways, I'm, I love using Skull Crusher here. So I'm just going to use that. I could use Crowbar and hit them twice, but... I like my uh, Skull Crusher. So let's go here. Scratch attack. This guy. Boom. Finish with the crowbar. Now obviously, once again, we do the same trick. Boom. Hit him once. And hit this guy once. And now you can just leave the area. Do the same trick again. And if you take a look, that zombie is facing away. And now you'll be able to crouch attack it just like so. This guy you will have to um, wall trick it though. Also, let's grab self-healing like that. And wall trick will work definitely here. Or just use the truck here if you want to. It's better. Stand here. Walk in so she stops. And you can just wall trick at the corner. And that is how you literally wall trick and transport up without taking any damage. Let's loot this crate. By the way, this crate is a burglar level 3, which I'm looting right now. So it's good to have. Let's use a medkit there because I won't need that. And this is pretty much junk. I'm not going to take any of this stuff. I don't need it. Now let's go do the inside part here. These zombies are not crouch attackable because as soon as you go to the left or to the right, they'll basically just hit you. But this is how you wall check these guys. Just walk in, walk out like that. You have to just position them perfectly. And once you get them in position, you're able to literally hit them all for free without taking any damage. Sometimes you'll get hit if they're not in sync fully, but it's not that hard. And try to focus it and kill the small zombies first instead of the fat zombie. Sadly, it's going to focus on the fat zombie first. Yep, there you go. I got it. We got the small zombie. You don't want to kill the big zombie first. You want to kill the small zombie because... They're just more annoying and they're faster, so... And do no try to not get hit because they heal up, obviously. Cannot really double attack with Crowbar because they're just insanely fast. Okay, we're kind of like 30% done with Transport Hub. 
see what we got going on over here make sure you always clear that right side before you go to the left side you know okay let's see what the dumpster has we has nothing but mobile phones and expensive watches if you're still a beginner player that just unlocked transport up well then i recommend taking those but for me i'm really like more advanced now in the game so i don't really need that by the way this is a good spot to wall trick these fast rotters look at this i'm literally not able to get hit here which is cool Really good spot for wall checking here. Although if they are standing like here, they will be able to hit you. Okay, let's get to crouch attack and fast rotters here. Badza bing. This is a good spot to wall check here. Over here, exactly here where I'm standing. So what do we have to do is stand here. Um, walk in like that and walk out. And as you can see, this guy will not be able to hit me. You can actually double hit him and walk away like this. But the better spot would be here. Stand here, walk in exactly when he's like close to the headlights here. And now all you have to do is just boom, boom, walk out, boom, boom, hit twice. Now this zombie sucks to wall check because the animations of the zombie is delayed. So you have to perfectly uh, perfect the hits. As you can see, I'm getting hit. Anyways, punch him to death. And there's going to be a zombie that will stand up here once you start uh, getting close to this spot. Let's see what we got. We got nothing good again. Sometimes these things will give you good loot. You could actually instantly just kill the boss instead of going inside so you don't have to like run in circles. Anyways, let's crouch attack these zombies here. It's nice that they're fast zombies so we'll be able to crouch attack them with a saw blade. One shot, one hit, one kill. Easily done right there. Very, very nice. Beautiful. Boom. And of course, you don't have to kill these zombies here but if you get butcher then it's just better to kill them. Plus you get 60 season points so hey, why not just kill them, huh? Just kill these zombies, bruh. It's fine. It's just two saw blade hits, you know? Not that much, I would say. Definitely, we don't have to kill this guy, so I'm just gonna leave the zombie hanging there. This is an echo crate, so let's equip our crowbars, make that guy stand up, and let's just wall trick this guy. And I just got hit, sadly. Now, you can get hit through the wall, so I advise to going fully behind the wall. Just be careful with this wall. Also, make sure you walk in and walk out, because if you stand behind the wall, the zombie will walk around the wall. Try to not do that. Alright, let's see what this has. We, you can just double press the loot button. It's gonna instantly open it. Let's delete some junk we don't need. And grab the crossbow. Now, crossbow is actually good to use against Butcher or Miner. I, I at least do that. So, let's eat the red radiation pills because I will not need that. And I'm actually gonna delete the camera. Grab the air filter. Or not. I'm not gonna take the engine parts because I have so many of them. And they're pretty much useless at this point. So, I'm just gonna stop taking them. Now, if you do need engine parts and you wanna level up your chopper, do take them because you'll need that for that other than that engine parts are useless other than recycling or giving away to the mechanic in gas station now let's get saw blade finish the last dude that is here boom and what i'm gonna do now is just wall trick these suckers get them to this spot here now you can actually wall trick all of the zombies together here like let's say you gather five fat zombies here and you just wall trick them all at the same time that's the thing you should do or could do but do note they heal up when you get hit by them so it's kind of annoying. Okay, this is a simple zombie container. We didn't get anything from here, but you can get a free guitar if you loot the zombie here. So I'm going to have to delete this. Oh, they just stood up. Come on, man. I wasn't ready for that. Let's just wall check them. These containers are really good for wall checking. Like this is going to be the best way to wall check literally. So let's get that done. Boom and boom. Okay, we can loot this and you will get a guitar and that is 20 damage. One hit. It's like a baseball bat. It's a literal baseball bat reskin so that's what that guitar is so let's open this now we got butcher that's okay i'm just gonna wall check this guy like this until we get him to 1000 hp let's see how many how much damage we can do with this guitar just by banishing him like this we're on half durability also if you have your drone make sure to put the drone in the slot and walk out and call the drone because if you call the drone behind the wall it will not do damage so you have to walk out like this and then call the drone and that drone is going to help you in damage for free without doing anything which is amazing but yeah it's nice that we got that guitar we literally did around 400 damage for free without spending anything so we're using the zone's resources that we got and obviously i don't want to bring this back home so i'll just use it here okay now let's finish up this crowbar i've got we'll be able to do a lot of hits here with this let's call in the drone again okay now i'm gonna just heal up with my self healing because it's up now also you don't have to walk out that much here in this area because 
I can literally hit him from behind this wall here. Ah, I made it even better. I made it even easier for myself to wall check him. Okay, let's call the drone again. Now you can call the drone four times before you run out of charges. And do note, you don't need charges to scan the cargo and transport up, so feel free to just use your drone. But of course, this guy is now... I don't want to... I want to make sure I don't get him under 1000 HP. Because if I do so, then that's bad. So now let's go run around. Kill the turkeys that we got here. Kill you. Let's try to walk in the range. Okay, that turkey's 4 HP. Let's get hit by him. And I want to kill the turkey right there. Now we got in the perfect spot. Let's do get the Glock in our slot. Now let's just wall trick him until 1000 HP. Okay. And now all I need to do is shoot him once and shoot a turkey. It's dead. Now I can start shooting Butcher like that. Make sure we don't touch the container walls. Otherwise, things are going to go bad, bad, bad. Okay, there you go. Very beautiful. And now all we need to do is just run around the wall all the time without touching Butcher. And all the time without touching walls. We'll be able to... Yeah, I touched the wall right there, as you can see. So that's my mistake right there. So now we go through here. This is literally the pattern I'm running through. And I just aggroed another zombie. Come on, man. This is infuriating. This is very infuriating. I have to now kill this small zombie here. Now, as you can see, since I messed up the pattern and he did heal up. Now I have to basically use my neutralizer that I've got. So... I will have to use this weapon, which is not good at all. I'm gonna be wasting this weapon's durability here. But yeah, this is why you have to bring two Glocks at least. So in case you do mess this up, you will not need to use armor piercing guns. So since I didn't bring enough Glocks, now I have to waste this neutralizer to kill him. And of course, you can finish him with a melee weapon if he's like 15 HP. Why not? We got the card. Beautiful. Now let's go inside. Transport up here. I did not even use my sprint, but anyways, we're gonna... We still have three crowbars left. Let's put in these 20 jerky. Let's put in this. We will not need guns anymore. All we're gonna need these neutralizers for is just for juggernauts. So here, what we're gonna do is just crouch attack this guy. Boom. And I'm just gonna hit him once with my skull crusher. Like that. And I can finish him. I will get hit by these guys though, sadly. But if you do get hit, you can tank some hits by them. And the bleeding does not stack, so we'll be fine. And as you can see, I just perfectly stacked all the zombies here. And I'm able to wall trick all of them while that spitter is spitting behind. So as long as the spitter is spitting behind, and as long as these guys are attacking at the same time, you're able to attack and kill all of them just like this in the corner. It's all you gotta do. Is that easy without the need to use weapons now as you can see the spitter decided to move around so you just do the same thing again stack them like this oh my god this turkey just decides to follow me around like that that is not good news right there okay we stack them all together like that and it's okay if the spitter is very close you just need to make sure to walk in walk out and just dodge their attacks like this it's all you gotta care that's all you need to care about and if you don't like the spot just walk around the corner again and that's just how you handle them. That's it. And now we're able to fist punch this ass melter. No need to use crowbars because he doesn't really attack you. You just have to dodge the spits. Three more hits. Boom, boom. There you go. We are done with that. This area has been cleared. Let's actually put the card in because why not? Because uh, that's literally one less space wasted. Let's loot this box. See what we're going to get. I'm going to get rid of these bean cans. We don't need that anymore. We got a Glock back, which is nice. I'm not going to take that ball bearing. Let's go up now. Since I got the Glock, I'm going to use this Glock for toxic daughters. So yeah, let's get rid of them. Now, you don't have to use guns for them, but I'm just going to use guns because it's more safer. Now, you could kill this guy, as you can see. Oops, I took the wrong weapon. I should have used a crowbar. But yeah, you can finish them with a crowbar if you want to save one shot of your gun, bruh. It's not really necessary, but yeah. And you can wall trick them right there so you don't get hit, obviously. As you can see. Just like this. Boom, 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 boom. And finish him off with a crowbar. Here we go. So let's scan this crate now. I'm gonna scan every single box. 
then I'm gonna scan the box on the right here. That's the box that I was that I just scanned was a unknown box. I like to call it unknown box. This box right here is called the settlement box. We're gonna talk about them, what they give you a little bit later once I'm done with transport up. So let's just keep on going here. Down here, you will meet your guest as a melter once again. Don't have to really worry about them. Just fist punch them or something. Kill them with fists. Don't have to use a crowbar. You're gonna save your iron bars by just, you know, taking like 30 seconds to kill this guy. So let's continue here up the ladder. Let's get our guns in because you'll need guns for this. I mean, you will need just a neutralizer for the juggernauts or you can just run around the whole area. I like to kill these guys because I just like to save my time. It's fine. It's up to you. What do you want to do? If you want to really avoid them, well, then you would have to go to the very edge of the map, sprint, and then you would just sprint away from them, go up the ladder, and that's how you can avoid them. So I'm going to use crowbar to kill the toxic daughter, and I'm going to use me jerky to heal up. Let's go down. Let's use the armor piercing gun to damage them. Toxic daughter is already like spitting at me. That's fine, though. We got one down. And we're going to be able to wall check here. And you can actually uh, kill this Juggernaut with a crowbar if you wanna. So you can save your neutralizer shot. And of course, run away from this guy like that. So you can cl get closer to the wall. And that's how you can kill this Toxic Daughter without really using guns. Because you don't need guns to kill him. Also, I just got spit. Ouch. Get these Parasites out of my way. Bro, this turkey needs to go, man. And now all we need to do is go scan the final cargo we got going on. Oh, there's one more carrion. I forgot about this guy. So I'm going to definitely kill this guy too. Make sure we wall trick him like this. I forgot to uh, finish him with fists or whatever, but that's fine. Let's craft a bandage because I can. Okay, let's loot this. It's a tier 2 locked chest here, but this might give us some steel bars. It, it sometimes does give you copper bars or other steel bars. It depends on the loot table, but this is a good way to get steel bars from here by just looting this box. Now, obviously, most boxes here are gatekeeped because you need to literally have burglar for that. And by the way, I will make a video soon about this forklift here. Stay tuned for that. We're going to be finishing forklift soon as soon as I get my benches going on in settlement, but there's going to be a tutorial for this and to get rotors you need to advance in the settlement and if you're unsure how to do this well you can join my discord and ask your questions there or just in the comments i will answer you there i'm not going to be explaining this in this video let's load this chest see what we get we got some bandages i'm going to put the nails away get the cloth make more bandages all right so let's see what kind of box we got for the loot here we got a bpd chest look at that we got a bpd chest now we'll scan that of course i will i will definitely scan that all right, let's open this chest as well. We got basically nothing. I got anti-rats. I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to get the gunpowder instead of the watches. Okay, so now we've got the most stuff. Now, the box that I'm going to open right now is obviously this is the worst box to open. This is the box you can open if you have literally all these extremely rare weapon purple blueprints. You don't need police cards. You don't need guns. You don't need carbon. You don't need factory parts. Then you can open this. And if you don't need this crate either, open this for your fishing rod. Now, I don't know why you would need the fishing rod, but if you want to catch good fish, then that's why or if you want the transport of vinyl record to be playing in your base then yeah you can also open this box just for that but if you don't need any of this this box is useless to open really you basically don't get anything from this first box so this is literally i call this the meme box the second box which is the cif or whatever this is it's called i call this the settlement crate it's it looks like a black box with tools displayed on it and you will get bricks uh settlement loot from this basically is what you will get glass and stuff sand you can get sand from this you will get ash blanks from this crate and the only other way to get ash blanks is by farming it in a swamp location with atv but if you want to farm ash blanks you can get ash blanks around six to seven ash blanks by just opening this crate here you can also get resins which is this and you can get chipboard frames or chipboards whatever they're called chipboards is used for settlement and it's a good boost to get settlement items from this crate you can also get iron sheet and iron sheets are required to build the bridge in transport up which is to the left side up the ladder if you didn't know and if you actually want to build the bridge and you don't have settlement items i suggest opening this crate and then finish the bridge once you finish the bridge you can then loot the bridge for extra items and here's the reason why 
I'm actually going to open this CIF crate. So let's just open that. And before I open this, let's talk still about this BPD crate. BPD crate is good for purple blueprints. It's good for purple cards, for weapons like VSS. You will get VSS quite a decent amount of time here, maybe like once one VSS and stuff. You will get a SWAT set or Kevlar set and you will get lens. You will get carbon and factory parts and you will get blue cards as well which is good to open in police department and that's like what four extra guns plus three guns from this crate so it's amazing to get and open this crate and the fourth crate requires forklift and that is the best crate obviously the fourth crate is better than the bpd however it does not give you purple blueprints it will give you a drone blueprint instead but to unlock the forklift that's going to be another separate video there's a red crate and a white crate and that white crate will give you either sunken key or something or hazmat suit and armor piercing guns and the red crate will give you good armor piercing guns and it will give you aluminum cables rotors stuff for settlement pretty much but by the time you unlock forklift you're going to be already an advanced player and you will know a lot in the game so i'm not going to talk about this crate however if you need purple blueprints open the third bpd crate this is the best crate to open if you need purple blueprints if you don't care about that you can open the settlement crate and if you get the army crate which is going to give you grenades landmines it's going to give you a tactical set or a ghillie suit that is the army crate this is the bpd crate and the army crate can also give you scars and it can also give you extremely rare blueprint mods too from that randomly which can give you zip guns or Winchesters. but anyways it's still worth to open these blueprints because hey it's worth the shot you can get basically a saw blade engine mod or a glock shutter elite shutter basically anything that is purple you will get from opening this for now i need to get and open the settlement crate you will need to open this as well if you want to boost your settlement progress if you want to unlock forklift faster open the settlement crate the faster you unlock the forklift the better loot you're gonna get so it's up to you you obviously want to open the bpd crate as well because this will give you purple blueprints and you will be able to do locations easier if you build your guns with attachments let's say you get a lead shutter on your glock which i already have uh but i don't don't have it on the weapon because it's broke it's good to mix it up the loot if you already have most mods and modifications don't open the bpd open sometimes the settlement crate if you don't need the settlement crate and you need like purple blueprint or need some guns or you need some blue cards just open the bpd crate it's up to you it's just open what you need let's open the settlement crate now and boom let's see what this is gonna give us oh man i cannot wait for to get these ash blanks and steel bars uh not a really good crate because well we did get iron pipes we got resin we did get chipboards but we did not get iron sheets and that is the sad part because i need iron sheets to repair the bridge we did get slate though which is good you get screws you get as you can see light frames everything you see in this slot here is what you get and sawdust steel bars is nice ash planks is nice i will take all of this home without a doubt okay let's go back to our chopper now let's see what we can fit there and by the way here's the full map of transport hub this basically shows everything that the boxes have. Now, I do want to talk about the GM box because the GM box, the only crate that gives you rubber hose and it gives you motor oil, it gives you sheaves, it gives you also a repair toolbox for your um, chopper. It also has a chance to give you boat parts, water pumps, glass, gas and gas cans and gives you cogs as well so it's basically like a mechanic toolbox loot box i don't know what i'm saying but anyways so don't expect to get atv transmission as soon as you open the box because that's not gonna happen even after you open the box 20 times you will not get atv transmission probably so that's what the gm box is by just opening the gm box you can get up to six rubber holes i think from opening it so if you do get the GM box and you need rubber hose and settlement, well, that's what you could do. It's a good boost to get rubber hose. Now, if you don't need rubber hose open, it's up to you. Like, instead of the settlement crate, you can get the red crate, which is the GM box. And uh, on screen, again, I'm showing you what box can give you what. So let's say you get a BPD or you get army crate, you get settlement or you get GM box. You get the medical box or the clothing box, which was the first box. And you can get the red crate which I don't know what it's called, and you can get the Genesis crate, which is the white crate on the fourth box. Anyways, let's grab the loot now, and I'm gonna not grab the bricks, not grab the gold bars, grab the resin. I am not grabbing nails. Grab this. Um, I don't know, brother, how am I gonna fit this, but let's delete the cameras, I think. 
A lot of loot going on over here. Screws, sand. I might not take sand, actually. I might delete air filters because I don't need them really anymore, so I'm just deleting them. Batteries, too. I'm gonna delete iron bars, I think. I don't want to come back here, so that's what I'm just gonna do. Let's grab the frame and the slate and i think i'm gonna just leave this here sitting anyways let's take some stuff from the season so pretty much that's all we got settlement crate which now that means our settlement is gonna get pretty much easier progress just because i got some light frames i got some screws i got some resin which i will need resin to make these chipboards right there these chipboards is what's gonna help you build your forklift faster so you will also need pipes and pipes is gonna be for the water pump to connect stations. All of this is important. Slates is important. Pipes is important. Chipboards is important. This resin is important. Screws not an important, not so important because you will be able to craft them, but it does boost up and help you get them easier. Steel bars is nice to get right, and the most important one is ash blanks. Without the ATV, you literally get ash blanks. That's cool. Um, yeah, that's it for this video, chat. Now you know what box gives what. And do note that in, in Transport Up, you cannot get more than four boxes. So if you don't get a GM box, then you're going to get a Settlement box. If you don't get a BPD box, you're going to get an Army crate. That's pretty much how it works. And obviously, if you don't get the Red crate, you will get the White crate. And if you don't get the Medical box, you will get the Unmarked, Unlabeled, No Icon box, which I call Unknown box. So, ladies and gents, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see next for the next upcoming videos. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.